Why learn all these math tricks when we can just type stuff into our calculators, right? But let me just give one small illustration. This is not made up. This actually happened to me. Got a haircut a few weeks ago, $28. I think you can tell I definitely got my money's worth. And at the end of the haircut, I go to the screen, I pay with my credit card, and the little thing comes up that says, do you want to tip? Normally, of course, the way that these three buttons are set up is you have a 15% button on the low end. This makes you feel like a cheapskate. Nobody wants to hit the lowest button. And then maybe the top end button is a 20% button. And maybe if it's a particularly good haircut that day, or I'm just feeling flush, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that 20% button. Usually though, of course, we just go with the middle button, 18%. And I can't say that I'm walking around constantly computing percentages in my head. In all likelihood, just like the people who designed the system intended, I'm just gonna hit that middle button. Whatever it says, 18%, that sounds fine to me. But then I start to look at the numbers that were on the screen for the tips. It's a $28 haircut, the low end is $7, the high end is 1260 and in the middle we've got nine dollars and eighty cents this is not really the kind of situation where you want to pull out your phone and like make sure to the cent that it's the right tip but I also don't want to put like a totally unreasonable number fortunately I know a relatively simple trick for calculating something like 20% you just take a tenth of whatever the number is that is in this case two dollars and eighty cents and you double it a 20% tip should be five dollars and sixty cents for that matter there's a related trick for 15% you would take that 10% amount, $2.80, cut that in half, that's $1.40, and then just add those two things together. So 280 plus 140 means I should be tipping $4.20 at the low end. 18% would be a little tougher to do in your head, but clearly it's some number between 420 and 560. The numbers that the screen was displaying were very obviously not between 420 and 560. In fact, the lowest number was already quite a bit higher than a 20% tip, which I I would consider pretty generous for my particular kind of haircut. So I hit the other button and quickly do some math in my head, or I don't know, maybe I just picked $5 because it was in between 420 and 560. But the numbers that they actually had stuck in my head, and I thought later on, what was the deal with those particularly high tips? $7 out of 28, oh, that's one fourth, that's 25%. For that matter, I can tell, wait, each time I'm going up to the next higher level, it's plus another $2.80, that is it's plus that 10% we were working with earlier. So in fact, this particular setup was going 25%, 35%, 45%. I do not begrudge the hairstylists or maybe the point of sale people trying to eke out a few extra percentage points on these tips, but it is nice that to figure all this out, I didn't have to pull out my iPhone calculator and type it in and be like, I wanna give you right to the penny the right tip. I was able to use some basic mental math tricks.